alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D-Real coming at you with another Be Real with D-Real where entertainment is what I do. Look here, y'all. The Oscar nominations are all the buzz right now. Um, and it seems like we're more concerned about what didn't get nominated than we are about what or who did. It'll be a quick conversation, I promise. Um, we're gonna get into it, but before we do, y'all rock with me. Y'all know how I get down. You know what's up, you know what's going on. Help a brother out. Do for me what you always do. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to be real with D-Real Pay so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you're digging with a brother shoveling, put, 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 put. Some dirt in my bucket. It be, it be, it be. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the page. Let's get it. Courtesy of Variety Magazine. Oscar nominations 2023. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Leads with 11 nods, followed by Banshees and all quiet. I have not seen Banshees or All Quiet, Banshees of Inertian, however you pronounce that. I ain't seen it. <laughs> Culturally, I don't care. Um, all Quiet on the Western Front. Didn't even know it was an All Quiet on the Western Front remake. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. I agree. That does deserve an Oscar nomination. Let's look at these Oscar noms. I mean, I could sit here and bore y'all with all of that, but here we go. Best picture. Wow. Let's look here. All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, The Banshees of Inishurin, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Fablemans, Tar, Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, and women talking. Hey, I don't see no Black Panther Wakanda forever in there. Didn't somebody say to me that Black Panther Wakanda forever is so good, it's so great, it's definitely going to be nominated for an Oscar. But as I look at this list of Oscar nominees for the 95th annual Oscars, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is unsurprisingly absent. <laughs> Moving on. Best director, Martin McDonough for The Banshees of Ina Shuren, Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert for Everything Everywhere All at Once, Steven Spielberg for The Fableman, Todd Field for Tar, and Ruben Ostland for Triangle of Sadness. Hmm. Ryan Coogler's name is surprisingly absent from this list. Hmm. Let's move on. Best lead actor. Austin Butler for Elvis. Colin Farrell for The Banshees of Ine Asheron. Brandon Fraser for The Whale. Paul Mescal for After Sun and Bill Nye for Living. Oh, that's right. Black Panther Wakanda Forever didn't have a lead actor. Mm. Mm. Guess y'all didn't think that one over too deep. Um, best lead actress, Kate Blanchett for Tar. Anna Diarmas for Blonde, Andrea Risenborough for Two Leslie, Michelle Williams for The Fablemans, and Michelle Yo. Everything, everywhere, all at once. I love Kate Blanchett as an actress, but I'm pulling for Michelle Yo. Oh, wait. I, I, I don't see Letitia Wright's name in there. Huh. Okay. Best Supporting Actor. Yes. You see where I'm going with it. Finally, we get here. Looky look. Angela Bassett, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. That's one 
nomination for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Best Adapted Screenplay? <laughs> you know it ain't getting nominated for that. Uh, best Original Screenplay? <laughs> Woo! Uh, best Cinematography? Maybe it should have got a nod for that, but hmm, go figure. Best document, well, of course not. Best editing? Nope. Best original song? Hey, there it is again. Look at that. Okay. That's two. <laughs> Best production design. Best visual effects. Oh, there's three. Okay. Best animated feature film? Nope. Best animated, best costume design? Four. Okay. Best hairstyling? Five. Best sound? Nope. That's it. Five for Black Panther, as opposed to the 11 for everything, everywhere, all at once. Now, here's my question. Does that make it a better movie? Probably not. But I am betting it definitely makes it the more watched movie. Everything, everywhere, all at once had a $25 million budget. It grossed 70 million in the US and 104 million worldwide. I didn't see a lot of I didn't see a lot of marketing behind everything everywhere all at once. Was there a ton of marketing behind everything everywhere all at once? Did 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 everything everywhere all at once have a bigger advertising marketing budget than say Panther Wakanda Forever? Black Adam? Now, I am aware that sometimes the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is kind of biased. And they tend to lean towards people with that hue of skin. But guess what? 11, 11 for everything, everywhere, all at once. I guess they decided to, to back a different person of color this year or a different demographic of people of color this year. Maybe this is um, Asian people's year to shine at the Oscars. Since, uh, <laughs> since, since we out here smacking folks at the Oscars. Um, they're like, okay, we ain't gonna deal with them this year. We gonna, we gonna try to ride with these other folks and see what they doing. I bet you don't nobody aging is smacked at the Oscars this year. Okay? Go figure. It's not hard to figure out. It ain't rocket science. It's real, real friggin' simple. Um, Everything, everywhere, all at once was a better movie than Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And that's probably why it got more nominations. Not the fact that Black people were getting snubbed because the Woman King didn't get nominated, because Teal didn't get nominated, because Devotion didn't get nominated. Maybe it was just a better movie. Maybe it was a more imaginative original movie and maybe people are a little bit tired of period pieces. That's just one man's opinion. I could be 150% wrong. However, I saw Devotion. I saw everything, everything everywhere all at once and I enjoyed everything everywhere all at once more. Now, Woman King, I will say, was a very good movie. And Woman King should have been nominated for something. And Viola Davis 
should have been nominated for something because she killed it in that movie. She was a whole beast in that movie. She should have got she should have got a nomination. I agree that that feels like a snub to me because that was arguably one of the best performances by an actress this year. And also, I hope Miss Bassett wins her Oscar. I really believe she has been a well, I don't believe she has. She's been a factor and a fixture in Hollywood for decades. Get that woman her flowers. She definitely, definitely deserves it. I don't know about anything else on that movie. Maybe costumes, but Angela Bassett, 100%. I, and I'm not going to hate. Angela Bassett, 100%, deserves an Oscar for that performance. That performance was absolutely a knock it out the park performance. Otherwise, if Angela Bassett wasn't in that movie, I might have went to sleep. And I'm just facts. Um, what do y'all think about Oscar nominations? I'm just touching on them, and I'm just giving you know this this is a hot take. Call it a hot take. Tell me what y'all think about it. Drop it. Drop, 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 drop that in the comments. And I will be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good. Be good to each other.